So you want to be an artist? Is this a spoon? Do you think you need all of this to draw? But the truth is, you don't. All you need is magical tool, a pencil. Yes, just one pencil. Now I know some people get fancy with sets of pencils labeled H, B, 2B, 9B. But honestly, all you really need is one basic pencil like an HB. It's the middle ground for shading and sketching and it works just fine for beginners. Seriously, don't overthink it. Start with a regular pencil and once you feel more confident, you can explore the other options. Now let's talk about paper. You have so many options and it's easy to get overwhelmed. Should I draw on this fancy watercolor paper? Should I use this notebook from my third grade science class? No. Just start with any of your good old sketchbook. Trust me, as long as it's not your math homework, you are good. Now, for people, you don't need the fanciest sketchbook to start. A basic unlined sketchbook is perfect as long as it's smooth and has enough thickness to handle erasing and shading. You are good to go. Keeping all your drawings in one sketchbook also helps you track your progress over time, which is super motivating. Plus, nothing beats the feeling of flipping through a full sketchbook. Yes, the eraser. You know, the artist frenemy, the eraser. There are many erasers, but you need only one. That's the simple eraser. Or you can use needle eraser. Just to starting out with drawing. Blending stumps help with smooth shading. Great for adding a more professional touch to your work. Next is sharpener. This might seem obvious, but you will need a pencil sharpener. Keeping your pencil sharp helps you with finer details and makes sketching smoother. And finally, a ruler for straight lines because freehanding perfect straight lines is harder than it looks. Remember, the most important thing is not the tools, it's getting started and practicing regularly. The more you draw, the better you'll get. So don't worry about having the perfect setup right away. And if you are ever confused, just remember, keep it simple, stay creative and, and just don't eat the eraser. Seriously, don't. See you next time or maybe I'll see you first if I figure out how perspective works. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Let me know in the comments what tools you are using to start your drawing journey and I will see you in the next one. Happy drawing!